Now, Ma and Tung from the BYU, back in Utah in the Rocky Mountain Corridor. Stanley, who is quite a bit of a sweetheart, a little bit naive, but that's how we like them to come into the Bureau. They stay naive and innocent and sort of dumb and don't question things. They are perfect for this kind of institution. Middle management, mediocrity, just obeying the orders of their superiors. So my roommate Stanley, again, Stanley, this is not an offense to you, no offense intended, but Stanley did point out in this PBD podcast that they had nearly two hours with Miss Whitney Webb. And not one time, not one single time, did they have a bunch of grotesque swear words, cursing, vulgarity. Now that is not to my liking. I think that they should be crass. I think that they should be vulgar. I think they should offend so that all the, all the soccer moms out there won't want to tune in and listen to some professional, highly intelligent people speaking and talking about things. It has become very, very popular to spew all sorts of profanity, right and left, spew and filth and vile, gross, negative garbage that some of those soccer moms out there don't want to be hearing, don't want to be listening to, and therefore they tune out the podcast. But in this event, Miss, Miss Whitney Webb bridles her tongue, sounds intelligent, isn't profaning, dropping the F-bomb everywhere, no other hosts. Now that is not to my liking. That is not according to the Communist Chinese Party principles, pushing to denigrate and degrade this country and make all that are speaking here to just be crass and vulgar, filthy and debased. Now we encourage filth and vile vulgarity. Now my Stanley did bring this up, Stanley my intern from the BYU, he did quote to me a statement that says, profanity is the attempt of a feeble mind to express itself forcibly. Now that is quite a brilliant little statement. That is truth with that beautiful statement. I love to see the NPCs. I love to see the people promoted in the media and the alternative media and the podcasting and the TikTok videos and everywhere else. Just blankety blank, blank, blank everywhere, right and left, just thinking they are so liberated as they spew that F-bomb for every noun, adjective, and verb. They are dummies. They are dummies, have not bridled their tongue or their mind to learn how to speak effectively and in polite circles. And they limit themselves. And we are this bureau, and as much as they have truth to share, we like that their purview, the things that they share, are limited and thwarted because they have such potty mouths, because they dredge into the gutter of filth to fill up their vocabulary. I think they should go on and just get more and more vulgar, more and more filthy, more and more unbridled in their tongues. And there is a bad reflection on them, and that is something that this bureau celebrates.